Hi, I'm Hector, and today we're going to try this cool looking fish. And, uh, you know, we're going to do some advanced features. So let's go ahead and get started with sketching. Oh, before we begin, if you want to pause it, that's the settings for the canvas and the brush we're going to use. All right, so let's start with uh, one dot here and another dot there. And once we do that, just go ahead and disconnect the dots. Then with two horizontal lines, somewhat spaced evenly. And next, we're going to sketch in some primary shapes. So we'll start off with a square and a triangle there and another triangle there. Okay, so let's get this shape and mold it into a fish body. I like brushing some suggestive strokes and once I'm happy with the direction it's going, I apply more pressure to establish the outline. And once we're happy with this, let's move on to the details. All right, let's do some gills and some fishtail. Looks like a little triangle. So I'm using little short strokes for this. All right, do the bottom fin next. And it looks like we just need the eye. All right, now, if you think this shape needs just a little bit more personality, use the warp tool. Settings are to the right. Now, you're gonna be surprised what a little pushing pulling can do. This tool reshapes in sections, so it's great for postures and expressions. But if you think you need just a little bit more precision as far as your adjustments go, use a liquify tool. Get into those tight places while the rest of the sketch is left alone. You're just working on that one little piece right there. So pushing with the liquify tool, it can go a long way. All right, so now let's go to inking. Uh, steps are to the right, and we're basically gonna set up the layers to trace over the sketch. Now, what's unique about this is that even after we outline, we'll still be able to see the sketch lines. And you know, with this technique, it also works really well with tracing photos. So try it. So now let's get a brush and we're going to be using a studio brush today. Settings are to the right and we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to share with you the settings for my brush. I don't have the steadies of hand, so this really helps you get that nice smooth line. So here are my settings. I went off to the right. Well, that's how you change your brush settings. So outlining, it's not like sketching it. You know, you want to have these long, continuous motion with pressure for thickness and stuff. But as you're kind of following the outline, your hand blocks it and you get these blind spots. Now, there's probably a lot of ways of fixing it, but the easiest way, start on the other side. Now, this brush is optimized to be used slowly. Yeah, you can carefully trace over the sketch, apply some pressure for thickness. And if you haven't noticed, I like to rotate and resize my canvas quite a bit. You know, but that's a personal preference. Just kind of just enjoy the process. Nice, steady brush strokes. And as you're going along, clean up your lines and remove the gaps because we're going to start color dropping. And we can't have any gaps for that. Now, intersecting lines. That's when we make a fin like this and we have a little excess. So we just go to the eraser and we erase away. And sometimes, but sometimes, we nick the outline. Now, there's a simple way of doing this. It's super simple. All you gotta do is go to layers, tap there, and tap on the plus sign. Create a new layer. And we're gonna go ahead and just make that same outline of the fin. Make sure in layer three, the new layer, and make the outline. We're gonna go to the bottom and make the outline for that fin down there. Now get the eraser tool and start erasing away. There we go. But notice it doesn't do anything to the main outline because we're on a different layer. So that's why this works so well. Now, isn't this such a cool tip? If you think so, let me know in the comments below. All right, let's go back to brush. We're going to finish the eye. There we go. And we're going to go back up to layers because we're going to tap on layer two. I'll go to eraser. And this time we're going to erase the main outline. All right, go back to layers, tap on layer three. And just gonna do just a little cleanup work. All right, happy with this? I'm happy. Let's go to layers. Let's pinch and merge. Now, this thing kind of bugs me. Let's go to layers and let's go ahead and just turn off layer one. And 
It, we wanted to delete it and we want to add a new layer. We now have two layer twos. Ugh, two layer twos. How confusing can that be? All right, just turn off layer one. Otherwise, sequencing is off. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's tap on layer two and tap on reference because we're going to set up a color drop layer at the plus sign and we're going to drag the new layer underneath layer two. Okay, now here's the other thing. When we color drop, we normally use something like an alpha lock because that easily lets us brush in shadows and highlights, right? Uh, we typically are looking for a clean edge on one side and a blended edge on the other. That's what gives it the effect. However, it only works on a physical edge and not a digital edge. So what does that mean for us? Well, we gotta do something different because this isn't working. But you know what? There is an easy way of doing this. Check it out. Okay, so we're gonna go up to layers and then tap on layer three because we're gonna create a new layer, layer four. Now, any layer we make is gonna be linked to that reference layer in layer two. So choose a color and uh, something like that. And let's just initiate a color drop. Drop, 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 drop. And one more for the eye. Drop there. Another color for the fish lips. I, I don't know what you call them. And drop there. All right, so let's make an eyeball. Let's go to layers, tap on layer four, tap on the plus sign for a new layer, make it a clipping mask, and let's change that color. Let's go to something kind of black, get our brush again, and we'll just use that same studio brush, size 38%, opacity 100, and just make an eyeball. So now we're gonna go up to layers, tap there, tap on layer two, hit the plus sign. Tap on the new layer and then choose Clipping Mask. Do a long press to get a sample of the color. Tap on the color and choose something kind of dark and choose a different brush. So let's go to airbrushing all the way to the top and a soft airbrush. That works really well for shadows. And go ahead and just very light brush strokes, very light. Go all the way around and we're gonna do another color sample about right now. Go back to color and we're going to choose something lighter and we're going to work in that lighter color to get a better blend and we're going to reduce the brush by three percent to get a little closer in there and then now we're going to go a little darker get under that fin and just a little bit by the side of the gill under the eyes and we should be good to go so now let's go to layers Tap on the plus sign that creates a new layer. Tap it again, make it into a clipping mask. Color's good, we just wanna change the tint and maybe the darkness just a little bit and go to vintage for a brush and choose newsprint. Size of the brush and all that good stuff is off to the right. And with very, very light brush strokes, just start painting it on. Give that scaly look, doesn't it? All right, let's go back to layers and under layer seven, let's change that color to white. And we're gonna to go to brush, go to airbrushing, and we're gonna use hard brush. Opacity and size is gonna be 100%, very light brush stroke. And let's do another very light brush stroke right there, and another there. Now let's go back to layers. And uh, we're going to layer four, tap on the plus sign. Let's go to brush, and everything's gonna remain the same. Hard brush, size and opacity, 100%. And we're just going to start with a light brush stroke there, and another there, and there. One more time. There we go. And one more there. So now let's add some detail. Let's go to layers and go to layer six, hit the plus sign for a new layer, layer nine, and automatically it becomes a clipping mask. Now we go to brush, under artistic, choose sassafras, size 34%. Opacity, 64%, and very light brush strokes and vary the pressure. And you're gonna get these cool stripes on the side of the fish. All right, so we wanna make our fish shiny now. So let's go up to the top and we're gonna to go to layers and we're gonna to go to layer five, hit the plus sign, get the color white. And the brush that we're gonna be using is a studio pen. Size 30%, opacity 100. And so our brush stroke here is gonna be just a very, very light outline. And it's just gonna be right under the black outline. 
and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be using the eraser tool to just kind of feather out some of that outline. So we're going to use a soft brush and just, just very lightly just remove some of that white. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now let's change that background color. Let's go to the bottom, tap there and background color and choose a blue. Um, go to layers and under layer three, I'm going to just tap a new layer and that's going to give me layer 11. I'm going to drag it into layer three and I'm going to choose a light blue. Once I do that, I'm going to go to brush and get an airbrush, soft brush. Size is going to be 70% and opacity 100. I'm just going to make just a very light stroke, just horizontally like that. So now we're going to work on the sea floor and all we're going to do is just change the color. We're going to go to green. Yeah, that looks really good there. And we're just going to just a couple of strokes here and there. And now we got a sea floor. Now we want to make that gold pop. Here's how you do it. Go to layers. Now go to layer 10 and create a new layer. That's layer 12. We're going to choose the color gold. Now we're going to go to brush and get an airbrush, soft brush, size 5%. Opacity 100, and we're going to go back to layers because we're going to change the mode, the blend mode to color burn and a little at the top and we can do a little at the bottom. Now you may not see it that well online, but it sure does show really well in real life. Now everything remains the same, the brush, the color and all that good stuff. And we want to create uh, some kelp or some seaweed and we're still on that same layer. And then just go ahead and just make upward brush strokes like that. Just make sure you change the pressure and the length that you're using. You want the seaweed to look like it's floating with a current. What do you think? Ah, you know what? We used a lot of advanced features that you can use in all your artwork. So I hope you like this. And if you did, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I had a lot of fun doing this. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Gotta go.